What's up guys, today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to use that date time format function in Airtable. So that's a function that will take your date time and it'll format whichever way you want it in whichever order you want it and with whatever like in between characters you want in it. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you optimize their information systems. So that's stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, toggle and other systems and integrate all of them and make it work really well for their users. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so first I wanted to show you why you might use a function like this. And the most common use case that really aggravates me is when I'm trying to reference a date or a date time in like a concatenate function or really just any function where you're combining it with something else or putting it in a text string or anything, you get something like this. So for this example, I combined two date and time string so obviously you get all of the information you would ever need but it's just very ugly and I don't like it at all so to do this tutorial I'm just gonna insert one to the right here and I'm gonna create a formula and we're gonna just start off with this date time format function so I always just like to click in here and see what the operators are so we can see we have the function and then we have the first operator which is date time and then the second one which is format string and for this, we're just gonna be referencing this date time to field here. And then for this string, you want to start off with an apostrophe. And this is where you really want to think about what you want to be showing here. So you could just show the year, you could just show the month, you could just show the day, or you could show like the day and the month, or the month and the day. Or you could show like the day, month, year, or year, month, day, or month, day, year, or some, whatever you want. So there's a few ways to show this and there's a few different notations that you should be aware of. So as you can see in this example, they put four Y's and then a dash and then an MM. And I also wanna talk about that little dash in between. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with MM and then that and then a DD and then that and then YYYY. And that's just to show you that you can use either of these like the backslash or the hyphen to create this. So as you can see, it included all of that and that didn't change it at all. And so I'm just gonna go in and make that two backslashes. But I do wanna point out something. So in this example, if it's less than 10, it has the zero for both of these. And I don't really want that. So if I would come in here and change this to just one instead of two, it will come in here and take out that zero seven or zero five in here it'll make it a lot easier to read. I think just when you look at this and like, oh, it's the it's June 24th, 2020 for this example. And I also wanted to show something if you come in here and make some of these smaller. So if I come in here and change that to just YY, that'll take off the last year. So now say I come back in here and pick, pick a date in 2019, you can see it does print out the last two numbers in that as well. Now real quick, I did want to point out that there's this resource and it's gonna be down in the description. And this is straight from Airtable. So this has all of the format specifiers for this daytime format function. And as you can see here, there's like a lot of these, like there's lowercase d's, there's uppercase d's, there's capital W's, lowercase w's for like week, there's stuff for year, there's stuff for like tons of different ways like you can represent the hours, the seconds, fractional seconds, time zones, preset dates, et cetera, et cetera. That's really all for this tutorial, but I do wanna show you a few cool ones that I like to point out, and that's some of these ones, some of these preset ones down here at the bottom. So if I shrink this back down and I come back in here and I change this calculation to LL, so it doesn't have any of those in there, all it has is that, and it gives you some of these cool ones like, like this that's preset and it looks nice, it reads nice, and it's very easy to use. But go ahead and use that link down in the description and you can figure out which way you want to represent your dates and your function, but use the same syntax that I showed you how to use with just ref field referencing that and then comma and then your the rest of your operators, that just one last operator. So also, if you enjoy videos like this, then click the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that you can be updated when I post new form formula tutorials, automation tutorials, and other Airtable tutorials for your benefit. If you need any help setting up this for your business, go ahead and click the link in the description to request a consultation with me or someone on my team. And without further ado, keep watching more videos and have a great day.